Let me tell you something, I'm feeling pretty intelligent right now. My get your every eye in the house, boy. Oh my God, there's a dead roach in the pool. Poor Chuck never learned how to swim, eh? Oh, he's wiggling. He's still alive. What a problem, man. I'm spinning at it, like I'm a legend, man. Be for real. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we have a surprise update. Hopefully some of the big issues in Apex Legends are going to be fixed. Now, some of them have already started to be resolved, but with Loba coming tomorrow for the new Flatline challenges, a lot of questions are, are our Flatline breakout challenges actually going to be, you know, kept track of? We're going to go over all of that. We're also going to go ahead and give out one of the Cobalt Heirlooms. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe. This is one of the last chances to win the giveaway, but without further ado, let's talk about today's topic. So, according to the most reliable guy in Apex Legends, Crow Rindo let us know that that there is going to be a brand new update scheduled for today on April 8th. Now this should be coming in about six or so hours from the launch of this video and there's a lot of stuff Respawn is going to have to address. Now as most of you are aware of, there was a huge issue last week where pretty much everyone's progress was lost in reset. Now they did let us know on April 3rd that they did take the servers offline and that they were doing a fix to restore progress and content to affected accounts. However, not everyone got their stuff fixed and it's going to be a slow rollout. So if you still haven't received your stuff, this should be the final update hopefully today to get you your content that you lost. On April 5th, they followed that up by saying they finished a grant of Apex coins to play Apex players who purchased them between the update on April 2nd and the server downtime on April 3rd, which is interesting, meaning that if you bought stuff during the time where the reset thing was going on, you have been reimbursed. If you have not, I would highly recommend reaching out to an EA rep on EA help forms. Whether or not they will be any help, well, that remains to be seen because, well, it's it's EA tech support. They also went ahead and rolled out the new rank split a little bit delayed from last week and there was a little bit of concern as they followed up that post with some clarification saying if your rank reset earlier this week it was not reset again at the start of yesterday's split. This includes players who continue to play ranked matches in between Tuesday and Thursday. Since season 19 rewards are granted based solely off your rank at the end of the season rather than your highest rank achieved during the season which is incredibly confusing because that means if you look at the rewarding exactly split one does not matter at all and where you end up and split two is the rank for rewards you get. It's just wildly confusing. Someone hopefully in a blog post clarifies on that. Either that or this is the worst decision that Apex Legends has ever made. Speaking of which though, there are two major issues that still have not been fixed and that is before all the progress was reset. That would be your ranked badges, which makes the situation even more laughable. Most people had their badges turned to bronze. The other one is the flatline breakout challenges. This week will be Loba with her sticker and skin. So you guys be sure to get those and gift those out to your friends. Unfortunately, though, the breakout challenges are still not set, and I'm hoping that today they finally go ahead and fix that for everyone who has been impacted by that. Not to mention, last Tuesday, we were actually supposed to get a couple of unique skins, one being for Conduit and the other being for Lifeline that you can see here. Unfortunately, due to all the resets, they were actually pushed back to a later date. It's very possible we see them today or tomorrow, and I am hoping because they are pretty cool, especially the fact that Conduit finally has a really cool unique skin for herself, and that Lifeline gets a recolor for her lore outfit. This also does seem to be the last day of the Shadow Society, so if you want to get any of those event packs or the free stuff, make sure you're grinding that out to complete it. Although it may not be 100% workable because as is on the Apex Legends Trello board by Respawn, they are investigating progress and reputation not currently tracking for the Shadow Society event. That's also listed with the breakout challenges and some Mad Maggie issues, so this event might actually end before we get it all fixed up. As we went over, the stuff that they have a fix in progress that is greenlit or rank badges for previous seasons were reset to bronze. They actually have that green lit, yet we haven't seen an update for that formally in the game yet. And the other one is progress made between 4.2 update and 4.3. Server downtime is missing, which means that we might actually see more than just coins being returned to account. We might just see some levels and overall some other stuff added back to our accounts, which is always really nice to see. Now, in terms of new stuff coming in, we did get a little bit of information. In two weeks, we have Apex Cups for the first time with an Octane Horizon challenge coming in, so do be aware of that. And that will be coming in with the Urban Assault, which does have a free prize tracker here thanks to Hypermist, along with a bunch of other skins that you'll be able to get in the Octane Prestige skin. That's still two weeks out, but in terms of Season 21, we did also get some new information, such as the fact that there's going to be a TDM 12v12 coming in Season 21. I'll be interested to see if it stays as a limited time mode or if it goes into mixtape on a more permanent feature. Also, I have no idea how 12v12 will work on some of the maps that are a little bit smaller, but we'll just have to wait and see. Prowl Rindo showed us the brand new exotic shards and how they work. Keep in mind, everything listed here is not the actual value number. For instance, Heirloom Shards is 
is 100 there when it's actually 150. It's just an internal build, but it does give in-depth explanations, letting us know that exotic shards are used to purchase artifact set items and reactive weapon skins. They're earnable through Apex packs and you can purchase them outright. Hopefully before all this launches though, with more ways for us to spend our money, they fix some of the core issues of the game, which have been plaguing the back half of season 20. Let me know down below, what are your guys' thoughts on the updates coming to Apex Legends? Has the game been broken more often than not? And how do you feel so far about season 20? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does a ton of amazing Apex Legends content in other games. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.